But tonight, first at six, we're digging into the past of a Hamilton County deputy accused of sending unwanted sexually explicit images to two women. That's Josh Noel, who is charged with two misdemeanors and is now on administrative leave. Nine on your side, Chief Investigative Reporter Craig Cheatham is looking into this case and other deputies who've been arrested recently. Craig. Craig and Tanya, Deputy Noel was arrested, booked into the jail, and posted bond. Since then, a third woman has accused Noel of the same thing. While Noel is on paid administrative leave, his boss, the sheriff, is urging other possible victims to contact investigators. Deputy Joshua Noel started his law enforcement career as a Hamilton County corrections officer. But yesterday, it was his co-workers who booked Noel into the Justice Center. The 25-year-old deputy, with no previous blemishes on his record, is now accused of sending unwanted sexually explicit images to two women. When one of our own has done wrong, uh, they have to face justice just like anybody else. Sheriff Jim Neal said Noel met one 18-year-old alleged victim after he pulled over her car. Noel got her name from her driver's license. Then the sheriff says Noel sent her explicit images. The sheriff says a third possible victim has contacted investigators. A matter of this significance is of importance to the public because it is an ongoing investigation and there could be potentially more victims out there. An I-Team investigation found that Noel is at least the sixth Hamilton County deputy arrested and charged with a misdemeanor during the last year and a half. Let me do your hand. Correction Sergeant Justin Hunt was arrested eight months ago on his second OVI charge during the last few years. And two months ago, Deputy Mitchell Buser was charged with OVI. Your reputation is everything in this work. We do hold peace officers to a higher standard. But the I-Team found even deputies who had been convicted of misdemeanors, including OVI, were not suspended by the sheriff. Yesterday, during an interview with Sheriff Neal and his chief deputy, they insisted that these cases are more complicated than they seem. As a leader of this organization, I'm going to be firm with these guys, but I'm also going to be fair with them. The sheriff and chief deputy say union guidelines and the employee's history influenced the decision they, the discipline rather, they received for those actions. Some of the cases we mentioned in this report, including Hunt's arrest eight months ago, are still not resolved internally because the criminal cases are still open. The I-Team's investigation of the sheriff's office is on our website. You can see stories about the discipline handed down by the sheriff and cases involving drunk driving and excessive force. That's on WCPO.com.